I just don't feel like college material. That's just too big of a commitment. We've all been there. Standing at the base of a mountain of concerns. I'm afraid that my college days have long passed. Where the justification of college turns into an indecisive crossroad and quality of life becomes a major concern. What if instead of the student adapting to college, college adapted to the student? Imagine a hawk that could lift you up and soar over those obstacles in life. An endearing yet confident companion, supporting you throughout your career. I think you get the metaphor. The College of Southern Maryland is here to help you navigate through the journey of higher education. And it all starts by redefining the student. I think we've all heard the phrase, back in my college years. It's a nod to the traditional career path. It's an effective path, but it only works when you draw a clear line of separation between student and professional. The path requires specific timing, a deep focus of efforts, and an expensive tuition. It's not for everyone, because life happens. For some of us, family is a priority. For some of us, joining the workforce is an absolute must. For a lot of us, life simply deals us a unique set of circumstances. But when you begin to blur the lines of the traditional student paradigm, the phrase college years loses all meaning and that rigid traditional one-way path opens up to an intricate highway of limitless possibilities. Utilizing a robust modular enrollment infrastructure, CSM offers the freedom of choice to students of all walks of life. Simply put, you can have your education your way when you want it. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on our virtual open house. Um, my name is Shelby Potts. I'm the Director of Admissions here at the college, and we're thrilled that you guys are here to learn more about the college, um, learn more about what the college can do for you for your education, as well as for your uh, future careers. Um, a little bit of housekeeping information for this evening. We will answer your uh, we will answer your questions from the chat feature at the end of the presentation. So hold your questions until the end and uh, go ahead and uh, put them in the chat feature. This presentation is being recorded so that we can post it onto our website later on. So um, if you have friends that weren't able to attend, make sure you tell them to come over here to our website and uh, click on the open house. Uh, click on the open house uh, link um, and uh, you'll be able to see the video recording. Really important feature also is that this event is being closed captioned live. So if you would like to read the transcript along with our transcriptor Tracy's typing, please uh, click on the CC button on the toolbar down at the bottom and click on show subtitles. If you would like to adjust the size of those subtitles, click on the subtitle settings and you'll be able to change the caption sizes. So without further ado, welcome to the College of Southern Maryland. Uh, we hope in the future we'll be able to see you on campus, but for now we get to live in our virtual world. I'm gonna turn it over to our host. Thank you very much. All right, well, good evening again, and I'd like to welcome you all uh, once again to our open house this evening. We're just going to um, jump through our agenda and share a lot of really great information with you this evening. My name is Mary. I'm one of the enrollment coordinators here, and we're just so thrilled that you've joined us this evening. We're going to talk all about our instructions and programs, the way we can support our students' success and progress throughout their degrees how we can support student learning, student experiences, and then we have a great time at the end of our presentation for Q&A. Um, so once again, please do hold those questions and we'll be just thrilled to answer those for you this evening. Um, and so with that, let's go ahead and dive into um, our content for this evening and talk a little bit about our campus locations. As the community college in this area, we have campuses located throughout the three um, counties here in Southern Maryland. We have our La Plata campus in Charles County, our Prince Frederick campus in Calvert County, our Leonardtown campus in St. Mary's County, and then of course our regional Hughesville campus as well, uh, where there are a lot of just really beautiful facilities uh, for the College of Southern Maryland throughout our area. Um, and we do look forward to seeing you on campus, hopefully very soon as 
um, as campuses begin to reopen and we um, are, are establishing that great presence here um, in the area once again. So we're gonna continue on by speaking a little bit about academics now and the programs we have to offer. Have you ever had a difficult time picking out a movie? Finding your way through CSM's catalog can feel very much the same. With so many choices, it can become intimidating to find the program that is just right for you. But with guided pathways already in place, CSM advisors take the guesswork out of those tough which courses when decisions, allowing you to pick what you want now. For instance, different paths can share the same structure for their first semester, allowing you to get hands-on experience in a field without being locked into one destination. Stackable credentials make these paths even more flexible, serving as markers that allow you to pause and resume your education between years without losing progress. This is very useful in fields where new transfer agreements appear regularly. When all these programs, credentials, and transfer agreements work together in concert, you have a career path that can adapt to almost anything life throws your way. All right, great. So that just introduces you a little bit more to who we are here at CSM. I want to talk briefly about our new focus to finish schedule and structure of our semesters. So this structure of our semesters allows you to be focused, flexible, and successful in your courses. Our, most of our courses moving forward are structured in seven week sessions, which means you can focus more on your individual classes as you work through your degree progress. This means that you really can be focused on the classes you are taking, um, meaning you can spend more of your attention, time, and effort on those particular classes. The seven week format also lets you adapt your college experience to your life more easily. As shifting responsibilities may occur, you can shift your course schedule to fit your other commitments and responsibilities. Additionally, our focus to finish schedule allows you to complete course sequences twice as quickly when you have the option to take the second course more immediately after the first. And all of this just reinforces um, how students can be successful in this format. We find that students do better across the board when they have less to keep track of at once. So dividing the semester in half leads to better grades, faster completion times, higher graduation rates, and fewer withdrawals from classes. So with that, we're going to tell you a little bit about our instruction types of those modalities for how we offer our courses. Before 2020, you knew exactly what to expect when you took a class at CSM. It looked like this, or this, or maybe even this. But in these post-2020 times, you may be wondering, what does class look like now at the College of Southern Maryland? Currently, CSM offers five different modes of learning. Let's start with this one, face-to-face, -face, the traditional class environment. Just students and a professor learning together in a classroom at regularly scheduled times. These courses are attended on campus, but now we're just a little more distant, just in case. Web-based learning has long been an option for CSM students. These classes are attended online through a virtual campus with no required meeting dates or times. Feel free to go at your own pace. Just make sure to check your class syllabus and complete deadlines accordingly. Now, we've all probably attended some type of real-time technology event by now. This mode of learning is exclusively virtual. Unlike web-based learning, these classes have scheduled dates and times as they feature live class activities and lectures via Zoom. We just ask to please mute your mic when needed. Please. HyFlex Learning offers an in-person and virtual experience simultaneously. Taking place during scheduled dates and times, this mode allows you the choice of attending a course face-to-face -face or virtually with real-time technology, whichever you prefer. Hybrid courses start as face-to-face -face scheduled classes, finishing the remainder in a web-based virtual environment, utilizing a predetermined combination of class modes. These courses have the ability to streamline your class workload while accommodating the content of each course. Most hybrid courses require some on-campus class time. Due to the complex nature of these courses, always refer to your syllabus to confirm dates, times, and campus for each class. So that is what class looks like now at CSM. Five different ways to learn. We hope you find a mode of learning that fits your lifestyle, and we hope you have a great school year. In the meantime, the College of Southern Maryland will remain ready to adapt 
willing to nurture new ways of learning, and committed to supporting your academic success. So as you can see, these modalities, these different ways that you can take your classes are just one of the ways that we are helping you adapt your college education in these new times. So now that we've talked a little bit about our class formats, our semester structures, um, I have the pleasure of uh, introducing to you Mr. David Jones, who is the Director of Advising Career and Transfer Services. Here's he, he's here to tell you a little bit more about the different majors and programs we offer, along with academic career and transfer advice advising services here at the College of Southern Maryland. Um, so David, thank you for being here with us this evening. Thank you, Mary. And uh, as she said, I'm David Jones. And what I'm going to talk about is just what ad academic career and transfer advising offers. Um, we're here to help you uh, and partner with you to identify your educational opportunities that are consistent with your goals and your capabilities, as well as your interests. Uh, we help you to explore career fields. We have a ton of resources, electronic resources that can help you with finding out what you should be doing uh, when you grow up. Um, and we help you also to start on your path to meet your educational career and transfer goals. So all of that happens uh, when you meet with your advisor, we, uh, we kind of assess where you are and um, look forward to helping you get to where you wanna go. And so, Earlier you saw a video about our guided pathways and these are the six guided pathways, the arts and humanities, science, technology, engineering and math, which is often called STEM, uh, business and information systems, health, education and public service and traits, transportation and energy. And within those pathways, there are different programs. So different majors that you will focus on uh, depending on what you wanna do uh, for your career. Um, we also connect students to resources that support everything that you're trying to do, all of your goals and your aspirations. We have resources that can help you get there. Uh, we have career services, as I mentioned before, including career coach. And career coach is an assessment that you can take. That we have a 60 question and then a six question. We usually advise students to take the 60 question because it gives you a lot more insight on maybe what you uh, would do best in as a career. Uh, we help you with selecting a pathway and a degree program if you were uh, undecided and you you know you come in and, and you are on the associate of arts plan but you think you may want to do something else we help you decide that so the ultimate decision is yours but we kind of give you that support that you need to make the decision um, once you're a student we help you with planning and registering your classes uh, we have a awesome tool called student planning. Uh, it plans out the classes uh, per degree for you. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out of, you know, students asking, what do I need to take? Well, if you look in student planning, it tells you exactly what you need to take. And oftentimes when students use that, they breeze through their programs. Um, we have transfer services and that, uh, what that does is it allows students to uh, talk about what they want to do as far as transferring to another institution after they finish their time at CSM uh, to finish out a bachelor's degree and, and then go further. Uh, we have tutoring, uh, tutoring and learning support services. Uh, we have online tutoring. Uh, we have a, a tutoring site. We have the math resource center as well as a writing center. Uh, and all of those things are available to you as a student. And then our testing services, students uh, take the placement test, any other type of exams or anything that they need to take to maybe uh, bump them up to another class level, they can do that through our testing services. And then if you have a disability, um, students can uh, access our disability support services. And I believe we have somebody here to talk about that tonight. And if we have veterans and, and those that have served our military, uh, we definitely have uh, resources available for that too. And we have a lot of other things as well. Uh, just didn't wanna bore you with all of them tonight. So uh, we'll talk about those later. All right. Um, so you can connect to an academic advisor via, via uh, our phone number or our email, or we have, uh, once you're a student, you're able to actually 
uh, schedule your own appointment. So we, we have a system called My Learning, and in that system, we have what we call Connect to Student Support. Once you click on Connect to Student Support, you can see the academic advisors, you see their uh, availability, so you can schedule your own appointment without even having to talk with anybody. So that's a great tool that we have. Um, and with our academic advisors, again, they help you to plan out your schedule, plan out um, how you're going to take your classes. Um, but again, ultimately, the decision, every decision that you make here is going to be yours. We just want to support you in making those decisions. All right, and I talked about career services. So if you haven't decided what you want to be or what you want to do, this is a great way to kind of get an idea of what that is. It's our, our career coach. And as you can see with the image on the screen, you take the career assessment, uh, you're going to get a printout of those results, and then you can meet with an advisor, or the results are pretty self explanatory. Sometimes we have students that don't need to come see us after they take the career coach. And then other times students want to kind of talk it out. So we help them to decipher what those results mean and what that may mean for their career choice. Uh, some students may think they want to be a doctor, but after taking the career coach, it changes their mind that they should be a, a musician. I mean, it, and we've had students like that. So it could, it could really vary, but we always encourage students uh, to take that career coach and get those results. Uh, and this is open and available to not only students, but to um, community members. So those in our, our CSM community uh, outside of the college are able to take career coach as well, and they can utilize those services. And then connecting to transfer. So a lot of students do want to transfer to a four year school to continue their education. Uh, as you know, CSM is only a community college, so we only have two year degrees here. Uh, so when you finish with your um, education at CSM, we hope that we've prepared you to transfer. And this is one of the ways that we do that. We have a full transfer services page. Uh, we have an awesome transfer coordinator who has um, developed and redeveloped a lot of our articulation agreements with four year institutions and all of that that is available on our website. So you can access that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you don't have to always talk to somebody. That information is right there and it gives you pretty much everything you need. Uh, Jackie Rogers Frere is our uh, transfer coordinator and she has done a great job at making sure things are laid out where students can understand it and, and make that transfer as seamless as possible. So if you need to reach us, you can catch us on our website, uh, www.csmd.edu backslash advising, or if you need to make an appointment or meet with an advisor, you can call 301-934-7574, and we'll be happy to help you uh, on your journey here at CSM. And again, welcome. Thank you so much, David, for all of that great information. We're going to talk a little bit now about one of those pathways uh, through trades and workforce training. And to tell us a little bit more about that, uh, we have Lee Damaris, who's another of the enrollment coordinators here at CSM to tell us a little bit about those programs. Great, thank you, Mary. Um, excellent, yes, thank you, David. David gave us some great information about um, some of the pathway options and credit options. And we're before the night's over, we're gonna hear a lot more about some of our excellent credit programs. But I know there might be some of you who are thinking, well, what if I just wanna get the skills I need to get into the workforce as quickly as possible? Or what if I'm already in the workforce and I wanna update my skills or my credentials? And if that sounds like you, you'll be glad to know that CSM offers a wide variety of workforce development and trades programming. And through CSM's workforce certificate training programs, you can get hands-on training and learn job-specific skills with flexible daytime, evening, and weekend classes. Now, whether you're looking to grow in your current job or launch an entirely new career, you can gain the knowledge, skills, or certificates you need at CSM in 16 distinct areas of study, ranging from agricultural to veterinary, veterinary studies. And on the screen here, sorry, if we can go back a slide, you're going to see just a fraction of our workforce development programs in areas such as business, construction trades, early childhood education, healthcare, computers and information technology, and transportation. And whether you're hoping to gain the skills to become an administrative assistant, a certified welder or HVAC technician, a CNA or GNA, or a network administrator, or earn your class A or B commercial driver's license, CSM offers the training and certificates to help you reach your goals. Now, these programs offer many benefits to students. In addition to earning those important workforce training certificates and continuing education credits, you can get on the job training in many of these areas. And you can take these courses as part of a flexible learning schedule. And best of all, after successfully completing these classes, you're ready for hire. 
And if you're at all interested in learning more about these programs, you can visit our website at www.csmd.edu slash career development, or you can use the link on the screen there as well. And with that, I'll turn it back over to our host. Thank you so much, Lee. And I'd now like to introduce to you Mona Weber and Don Lucart, who are here to share a little bit of information about one of our most popular programs, which is nursing. Um, so Mona and Don, thank you. And uh, we look forward to hearing your information. Thank you. Um, we'd like to start out with Dawn uh, talking about uh, what it is to be a nurse, what it's like to be a nurse and her experiences. She's one of our faculty members. And I thought perhaps that would be the best way for us to start out for you to actually get a feel as to uh, what that type of a pathway looks like. I am really, really hoping my dogs don't start barking because there's a car outside. So if they do, I'm going to mute for just a second. Um, but as Mona said, my name is Dawn and I am a nursing professor here at CSM. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I'm also a CSM graduate um, from many, many years ago. I graduated from CSM in 1995. Um, coming right out of high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, and my parents just knew that they were not going to pay for me to go away to a university if I didn't know what I was going to do. So I started at CSM and um, just kind of started taking prerequisites for nursing and it has been the best decision of my life. I've, like I said, been a nurse for 26 years and I have done lots and lots of different things in nursing. Um, most of my career, I spent about 14 years in the emergency department. I spent a lot of years in the um, recovery room or PACU um, in the operating room as well. Um, one thing that I love about nursing is that it's so versatile you know, depending on your stage of life, if you're raising kids, you can work in an office setting, um, you can work night shift, day shift, and there's so many different things that you can do in nursing. That's one of the reasons that I feel like it's one of the most rewarding professions and that it fits many people and their lifestyles. Um, here at CSM, I teach second semester nursing, which is medical surgical nursing. Um, we also have um, a GNA program for the, um, oh, what's it called? The, um, hmm, Mona, help me. For continuing education? Or for certification, I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, I just had a little brain fart. I was worried about the dogs barking. <laughs> um, but you can actually get your um, GNA certification. Um, you take the um, course through the college, sorry. And then um, you would have to take an examination um, to be able to get your, your GNA, but your CNA license, your certified nursing assistant course, um, you can actually get that when you're in the nursing program. So after the very first semester that you complete in the nursing program, you can actually apply um, for your CNA license and start working as a CNA or a certified nursing assistant while you're still in the nursing program. And that really enhances your learning and kind of helps you make connections with what you're learning in the classroom. Um, we also have, um, I'm gonna talk about just briefly the RN program first because the RN program, it's a two year program where you do four semesters full time um, and you graduate with your associate's degree in nursing, in science and nursing. And then you actually have to sit for the um, NCLEX examination to get certified as a registered nurse. But there is an option to take the LPN program as well. So the LPN is a, an extra semester that you would take right in the middle of your um, associate's degree nursing courses. So after the second semester of nursing, you could take your LPN exam um, to sit for the boards to become a licensed practical nurse. Um, you can stop there. You don't have to go on to take the, the rest of the RN, but it's only two more semesters after that. Um, it's a really great profession. Um, I love it, and I would be happy to talk to anybody or answer any questions um, that you may have about nursing or CSM. Thank you, Dawn. Yes. So basically, again, I'm Mona Weber, and I would help individuals who are interested in a nursing pathway, specifically, specifically RN. Um, you apply to CSM, uh, start taking your non-nursing course requirements, and then you need to petition 
to get into the nursing program. And that's very standard with any school. We have two petitioning dates, January 15th for those who wish to join fall semester nursing cohort and June 30th for those who want to join the spring nursing cohort. And there are specific courses that you need to do. Uh, then also we have, um, we have a partnership with Frostburg State University, Stevenson uh, University Online and University of Maryland School of Nursing where individuals have the ability to actually take courses with the schools and be admitted into their Bachelor of Science in Nursing program while they're doing the nursing program here at CSM. So we're connecting directly to that. Most hospitals, healthcare facilities do want nurses uh, to be working or have completed their BSN. And we offer that opportunity here at CSM if individuals have a 3.0 or higher and also have completed the non-nursing course required for that specific school. Maybe a little more information than you need, but I wanted you to be able to see that while you're at CSM, you can connect directly to your bachelor's degree if you wish. Uh, again, for information, please just email me and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about your pathway to petitioning, uh, becoming a nurse and the associate to bachelor's degree program. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much, John and Mona. We appreciate all of that information. I would next like to introduce to you this evening, Professor Shaniza Kazim, who's here to tell us a little bit about the education programs and teaching programs that are available here at the College of Southern Maryland. Thank you, Professor Kazim, for being here today. Thank you, Mary. So you all just heard about our amazing nursing program here, and it sounds great. I'm sure you are all ready to sign up and jump in there. That being said, if nursing is not for you, we have other amazing programs here at the College of Southern Maryland. If you are interested in educating birth all the way through 12th grade, the education disciplines are for you. As you can see on your screen, we have several degrees that fall under our discipline. We have the AAS, Early Childhood Development. This is designed to be a workforce development program, really focused on on students who are interested in child care. If you find that you absolutely love teaching children, you wanna make sure that our society understands that our most vulnerable population needs to be educated from birth, not babysat, but taught things in developmentally appropriate ways. That is absolutely the program for you. It's honestly my favorite, but don't say I'm biased. We also have other programs for those of you that are like, yeah, mm, Infants, toddlers, three-year-olds, not my thing, but I do want to teach. I enjoy engaging with children. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy that interaction. Then you might be interested in our AAT programs. Now, these are programs that are designed to transfer to four-year institutions. These are programs where you take your first two years of your required teaching degree with us, and then you move on to another institution after you graduate. We also offer an AA in secondary education. If you're like, mm, not really fond of elementary school and the beginning of middle school where hormones are going crazy and adolescence is happening, I really prefer high school. I'm way more comfortable with that. Then your secondary degree program would be the program for you. And you're like, okay, I'm not exactly sure if I want to do teaching, but I like that idea. There are so many careers within the field of education that you can really go any way you want. And here at CSM, we're, help, we're helping guide you. So together with our advising department, you also have faculty advisors, and we work together to help you get on the path that works best for you. So you might not want to be in the classroom. You might want to direct a center, own a center, work at the state level. You might want to be an instructional assistant and not really have the pressure of being a teacher in the public schools. We have all of those career options for you, and we are absolutely willing to work with you. So you want to know why it's important to have teachers. Well, obviously, we wouldn't have any of these programs without a teacher. You all learned things from people along the way. What we want is we want you to be certified to teach, to make sure that you're doing the best for our children so that they can become adults in our world that really are trying hard to make a world better. So where can you go after CSM? We have articulation agreements, both for our AAS, Early Childhood Development Programs, 
and our AAT programs. If you wanna be a public school teacher, we have the two plus two program with Towson for our AAT students. If you like early childhood development and after you finish your two year degree and you're fully certified to work in a childcare environment as a teacher or a director, you wanna continue your education because you really believe in what you're doing in the classroom. Then we have partnerships with Purdue Online, Purdue Global Online or um, St. Mary's College, Notre Dame, all of these four-year institutions have partnered with us because what we are offering you is so amazing that they believe in the education that we're giving you in the first two years to prepare you to transfer to them, to get you exactly in the classroom that you wanna be in to teach our young children. We also have grants, scholarships, and funding. If you are interested, we can go to the next slide and you can contact me at, there's my email. If not, anyone on the screen or the co-host can assist you. You can contact me and I will be more than happy to put you in contact with grants and scholarships that will pay for your tuition fees and books for the AAS program or the AAT Early Childhood Education Program. All three of the professors listed on this screen are also faculty advisors. So we can guide you specifically into the direction you wanna go so you can get exactly where you wanna be. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much for sharing so much about these exciting programs. Um, the final uh, faculty that we'll be hearing from this evening is Professor Byron Brazina, who is here to tell us a little bit about the amazing engineering programs that are available here at the College of Southern Maryland. And uh, somebody's advancing the slides for me? Yes, that's that correct. correct. Okay. Yes, yeah, thank okay. You. Go ahead, slide. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, Mary. Uh, so my name is Byron Brzezina. I'm the uh, engineering program coordinator uh, here at CSM. I'm a CSM engineering graduate, University of Maryland engineering graduate. So I've been been through the program um, actually more years uh, more years ago than I wish to um, admit to, but um, I uh, really believe in the program and it, it's great to be able to talk to you tonight. So. Um, so why would you pursue engineering at CSM? Um, the first couple of reasons here apply across the programs here at CSM that, and you've probably already heard tonight, I'm sorry for joining late, I had a class until 5.30. Um, we offer a significant cost savings versus four-year schools. Uh, for the first two years, I think we advertise $29,000 on average that you can save uh, by doing you know, a community college CSM versus a four-year school. And also that low student to faculty ratio, which is the overall at CSM and certainly in the, uh, I think that certainly uh, reflects what you would see in math, engineering and physics. Uh, more specific to the, uh, to the engineering program, um, our programs are based on, we have three engineering programs actually. Uh, they're based on uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, similar programs at the University of Maryland, because we want to um, make sure you know, most of our uh, graduates transfer to the University of Maryland, not all of them, you don't have to go to the University of Maryland, but certainly a, a, a large majority do. So we stay right in sync with what they're doing at the University of Maryland uh, in their first two years there. Um, our signature transfer program is known as the Southern Maryland Engineering Partnership, where if you're interested in mechanical or electrical engineering, you can uh, transfer to University of Maryland and continue your education at the University of S System of Maryland, Southern Maryland, which is located in Hollywood, Maryland. Uh, there's three buildings there, a brand new research facility there by the uh, St. Mary's County Airport. And um, you can continue your, uh, your engineering education there, and it is a University of Maryland program. You're no different than a College Park student. It's just that you're attending most of your classes in Southern Maryland, and you also have an opportunity there to combine that with an internship uh, at uh, Pax River Naval Air Station as an engineering intern. We also have a growing list of transfer agreements with other four-year schools. Uh, for different types of not only electromechanical, but also civil engineering, um, uh, computer engineering, and those schools include uh, Frostburg, um, uh, North Carolina State, uh, Penn State at Harrisburg, um, uh, as well, uh, I think I said North Carolina State, 
uh, and there's some that are, uh, I think, have just been completed for George Mason, um, as well as others. And that list is growing. So they're there. And what those transfer agreements do for you is give you a guaranteed, if you meet the requirements of the agreement, you know, GPA and so on, you are guaranteed admission into those schools, uh, into their engineering schools. And that's a big thing to have off your back. Uh, you know, knowing whether or not you're going to be admitted or not, did you meet the requirement, you know, all that. So, uh, so I, I encourage you to look at those uh, on the CSM website under transfer agreements. We have a number of engineering clubs and societies here. Uh, uh, the Society of uh, Women Engineers chapter has been started here. That's a great um, uh, uh, society. Um, they do great things. Uh, we have a new chapter for National Society of Black Engineers here. We have an engineering club, and we have the sometimes world famous Talons Robotics team. Um, if you're interested in robotics, uh, we have a great team that's been going for a number of years uh, that goes to the world finals, uh, the world championships uh, just about every year. You have uh, uh, that opportunity to join that team. Slide, please. So as I said, we have three different engineering programs. We have electrical engineering, we have computer engineering, and then if you're if you're not doing electrical or computer engineering, you would do the engineering associate of science degree, uh, which you can tailor for uh, uh, the remaining different disciplines, mainly mechanical, civil, the civil, civil, chemical, aerospace, and the list goes on, uh, and you can tailor that degree with uh, different technical electives, depending on which discipline um, you're uh, 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 going for and what school you're going to transfer to. Um, as far as curriculum, uh, all the engineering programs are calculus-based. Whether you're doing uh, mechanical uh, in, under the engineering AS or electrical, electrical or computer, uh, all engineering students take a common first semester. And generally speaking, the program over your two years here uh, would be 25% specific engineering classes, 25% math classes, 25% physics classes, and 25% gen ed classes. And your first semester would look like this. Uh, all the engineering students take intro to engineering, uh, Calc 1, uh, English 1010, uh, composition and rhetoric. Um, if you're going, if you know you're going to the University of Maryland, you can cut your chemi chemistry classes uh, uh, short unless you're going to be a chemical engineer and take Chem 1350, which is specifically for University of Maryland transfer students. Otherwise, you take uh, uh, two semesters of a general chemistry and you take a general education course as well for your first semester. So that's all I had. I'll be glad to take any questions at, during the Q&A time. Well, thank you so much, Professor Brezina. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the way we support our students and the resources available here at CSM. The rigors of COVID-19 have been a challenge for us all, but CSM has always been about community. It's literally a community college. With a strong presence of web-based curriculum, coupled with minor enhancements to our real-time tech, the pandemic is becoming less of an institutional challenge with each day. Distance learning has served as a clear reminder that life keeps going after class. Between family, career, and personal interests, education is just one small part of the big picture. Your success is yours, and your situations are as unique as you are. CSM exists to support students in their success by removing barriers and opening doors through a myriad of support services, scholarships, and financial aid. But even before financial aid, the savings you can earn with your first two years of enrollment at CSM can certainly add up. All right, well, we're going to pick up right there and talk a little bit about the financial side of things. And to assist us with this conversation, I'd like to introduce Brianna Pickerel, who is one of our financial aid advisors. Hi, good evening. Like Mary mentioned, my name is Brianna Pickerel and I'm the financial aid advisor at the Leonardtown campus. If we take a look at this slide here, it talks about the cost comparison. On the left hand side, the chart listed states academic year. And for the first side of the chart farthest to the left, 
It's CSM. It shows the tuition and fees and room and board for a community college level. As you progress to the right-hand side of the chart, it shows the public university cost of tuition and fees and room and board. A public university could be something similar to the University of Maryland, Salisbury, Towson, Frostburg, similar to a lot of the universities that were mentioned previously. And then as you continue through the chart all the way to the right-hand side, it lists the room and board and tuition and fees for a private college or university. And this could be something similar to Hood, McDaniel, Mount St. Mary's, and the list goes on. But if you look, it, it drastically increases from left to right. And that's dependent on what type of university or college you choose to attend. If you look to the chart on the right-hand side, it shows the cost comparison for a bachelor's degree. So the first two columns to the left-hand side show how a student would attend CSM for their first two years and then possibly transfer to a public or private college, showing some decrease in the total amount of cost that you would spend for attending a four-year college um, for the full amount of the four years. Next, um, this is a list of some financial aid programs that are listed for students. The first thing that the student will need to do is complete a FAFSA form, which I'll speak about at the end, but that's a free application for federal student aid. So our first point here being federal aid, it's going to um, consist of Pell Grants, Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grants, which are for undergraduate students, direct student loans, which include subsidized and unsubsidized loans, and federal work study, which allows a student to work at the university to earn money towards their tuition. All of these programs and grants and loans are consistent with your enrollment status and your program of study. Along with this are Maryland state programs through the Maryland Higher Ed Education Commission, and this is need-based financial aid. Um, this includes the Promise Grant, any kind of legislative awards, and unique populations. Next would be the CSM programs, and you can find scholarship opportunities at csmd.edu under the Scholarship Finder. And it will actually, if you go on there, it will show you a list of um, opportunities that pertain specifically to you and your program of study, and it will narrow down the search for scholarships that you are eligible to apply for. This also consists of the CSM Foundation Scholarship, any kind of need-based grants, and athletic department awards. And as I stated previously in this slide, the FAFSA form is very important. It has to be completed before you're given any kind of financial aid through the state federal or institution. And the FAFSA form opens in October, but the deadline for it is March 1st. So make sure you can complete it right now, but make sure that you're completing your FAFSA form for the next year. So this would be for next fall. And that way, when you um, go on to look under the scholarship finder, you're already submitted your FAFSA and you're ready to go. And then this is a list of some contacts for you. Um, the top one is for um, financial aid department at CSM. That's our email address. Below that is the studentaid.gov federal site for that FAFSA form. So if you would like to complete that right now, before that March 1st deadline, go ahead and go to that website. And then the very last one is for the Maryland Higher Education Commission. And that's just a list of all of the grants and financial aid assistance programs that they provide every year. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Our next topic will be disability support services available here at CSM. And to tell us a little bit more about these services, I'd like to introduce Megan Raby, who is the coordinator of disability support services. Megan, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Megan Robbie. I am Disability Services, as Mary just mentioned. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you briefly tonight about disability services at CSM. So um, 
If you have a, if you are a student or if you have a student who has an IEP or a 504 plan um, currently or even in the past, this might be something that's relevant for you. Um, and even if you don't currently receive services at your high school or if you've um, been out of school for a while, any sort of disability that affects any major life activity, learning, thinking, um, mental health um, disabilities. I mean, we, there's a whole host of things that we might be able to help you out with. Um, we also work to, our office works to educate the college community about students with disabilities and how to best help them. Um, we provide assistive technologies to students. And we also work really closely with agencies such as the Divi Division of Rehabilitation Services and also the local school systems to make sure that that transition from high school to college is a smooth one. The main takeaway I want everyone to get tonight, especially for my students who have IEPs or 504 plans, um, we've seen a few cases recently where students think that their IEP or their 504 plan is sent over from the, you know, from their school system. Um, and that is not the case. Um, you are, disability services at college is a whole different ball game, and it is separate from whatever you might have received at a previous academic institution, even a previous college that does not automatically transfer over to CSM. So disability services at CSM or at any post-secondary institution, they are voluntary. Um, students must come and identify themselves to our office and let us know that you need accommodations for your classes. Um, at that point, you should contact our office. We can give you an intake packet. Um, you will provide documentation of your disability and we will schedule an intake meeting and we'll sit down and talk about your disability and how it affects you in the classroom and some of the things we might be able to do to help you. Um, I welcome you guys to contact us at any of the campuses. We have a disability services coordinator at each of the main campuses, but we are certainly welcome to meet you at the regional Hughesville, the Velocity Center, Whatever place you might be taking classes, we are happy to meet you there. Um, Renata, myself, and Christina, if you have questions about documentation or even just the whole transition process, please contact us and we'd be happy to work with you. Great, thank you, Megan. Thank We're gonna you. take just a moment and talk a little bit about learning support services here at the College, uh, College of Southern Maryland, um, things such as free tutoring and a lot of really other great resources. Lisa Dixon, uh, one of the other enrollment coordinators here at CSM is going to share a little bit about these services. Hello everybody, I'm Lisa Dixon. I'm an enrollment coordinator, uh, mainly based at the La Plata campus. Um, CSM offers our students uh, supporting student learning by offering CSM tutoring via online um, and or in person at one of our math, math centers and our English writing centers. We have subjects such as math, accounting, chemistry, writing lab, and more. And we do have a online tutoring system as well called Thinking Storm. It is available 24-7 um, and we do offer free Hawk tutoring by uh, Thinking Storm and via online tutoring with our CSM tutors. All right, thank you, Lisa. Next up, we get to hear a little bit about uh, student life and activities here at CSM. We have our three Student Government Association presidents with us this evening, and we'll get started um, by introducing Christine Williams, who is one of the SGA presidents. Um, thank you so much for being here, Christine. Uh, take it away. Oh, sorry, I thought I was unmuted. Hello. Hi everyone, welcome to CSM. My name is Christine Williams. I am the president of the Leonardtown Campus of Student Government Association. I've been at CSM for about 4.5 years. I started here after graduating high school. I've joined several clubs since I enrolled at CSM, including Student Government, Social Media Ambassador, and Criminal Justice Club. I am currently in the nursing program, finally finishing up this semester and graduating. All right, thank you, Christine. Next, I'd like to introduce Rihanna Robinson, uh, one of the other SGA presidents. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is <clears throat> Rihanna Robinson, and I am the vice president at the La Plata campus. Um, I have been at CSM for about four years as well. 
Um, so my major started off as criminal justice. I have actually changed my major three times. Um, but with changing those majors, I was able to um, receive um, like letters of recommendations. And then also those other um, courses will fall into my um, my other major when I when I when it changes as well. Um, I've also been uh, in the volleyball team as well. And now I am um, I started off as a secretary and now I am the vice president. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd now like to introduce Kia Smith to talk a little bit about their experiences as well. Hello, everyone. My name is Kia Smith. I am the La Plata campus, the La Plata campus Student Association President, and I am also the Student Government Association President. I have been at CSM for three years, and I will be graduating this year with my Arts and Sciences degree. And I was also assistant cross country coach back in 2019. All right, great. Um, Thank oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to jump right into athletics to speak okay. about it. Okay, so I'll be talking to you guys about athletics. CSM Athletics provides an educational and a competitive athletic experience for all of our students. Here at CSM, we provide our athletic participants with the awesome opportunity to achieve not only personal, but team goals. We strive to have student athletes play under good sportsmanship and expand their horizons with exposure to competition, whether it's on the field or the court. Um, our sports team complements the school's goal and mission to educate our participants and spectators on important life skills such as responsibility, teamwork, discipline, and perseverance. We have eight competitive teams that are baseball, men's and women's basketball, men's and women's soccer, golf, softball, and volleyball. They compete under the NJCAA or the National Junior College Athletic Association within the Maryland Junior College Conference. Please keep in mind that, C I'm sorry, CSM keeps in mind that participation in athletics is a privilege and should benefit the student. We here at CSM have created an impeccable spirit that brings pride, recognition, and a sense of achievement to the institution as well as the student. I hope that this clears up or answers any questions that you may have, but always feel free to reach out. Go Hawks. All right, thank you, Kia. And thank you to all of the SGA presidents this evening um, for sharing a little bit about what it's like to be a student here at CSM. As we wrap up this evening, we have uh, just a final brief video to share with you all, and then we will begin taking questions and answers in the chat. So you may know a degree or certification could serve as proof of your professional value. Actually, in some instances, even mid-semester progress can contribute to proving your worth. And with job security being more relevant than ever, even the most modest certifications can serve as a means of justifying employment. If you have aspirations to dive headfirst into a career, then networking opportunities such as internships and partner programs can potentially serve as a direct route to employment after or even during your education. Thank you for watching. Before we wrap up, let's make something clear. College ends when you say it does. It's never too late to get started, and nothing can hold you back from soaring into an amazing career. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope that this open house has given you lots of information that you can use as you move forward in your journey to becoming a future hawk here at CSM.